Hey uh, everybody, in this video I thought I would show you all how you can get the runtime of a program. I thought it might be useful now that we know how data structures and algorithms work for the most part. So within the entry point of your program, you'll need the start time. And we'll store this within a long data type. I'll name this start equals then type system.nanotime. A nanosecond is a billionth of a second. And then we have our program, whatever it is. And then at the end of our program, we will get the duration. This will be of the long data type. Duration equals, and then we need the current time, system.nanotime minus our start time. This returns a time in nanoseconds. If you need milliseconds, you can divide this number by 1 million. Okay, then let's print the duration. System.out.println duration plus milliseconds, or some other unit to measure time. Okay, so with our program, let's just have the main thread sleep for maybe three seconds. Whatever it is you want to do. And we will sleep for 3,000 milliseconds. And here we go. So we will wait for three seconds, and we are done. This program took 3,014 milliseconds to complete. When you enter your program, get the start time. At the end of your program, get the current time minus the start time. Then depending on the units you're using, you may need to divide this number by a million, or if you need this in seconds, you would divide this by one billion. So yeah, that's how to calculate the runtime of a program. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.